in a article as old as history and time itself. It is that time of the year again, where we discuss the inevitable failures of Marvel Studios and how this is their last year. Where last year was the last year of success and this year is going to spell disaster and the downfall of Marvel Studios. Because let's be real, websites run this every year just replacing what movies are coming out because it gets a lot of clicks even though it's nonsense. I'll also tell you why it is factual but not to the degree that they're trying to spin the story. So as always, before we get into this, let me remind you, this is just objective. It's my opinion, you guys watch it, you hear my opinion, I listen to yours. We have a normal conversation like human beings, and if you're disrespectful to me or anybody else, I'll give you the boot. So let's talk about the perceived failures of Marvel Studios in 2020. So there's plenty of articles out there and people claiming that this year, Marvel Studios will see a huge drop off, and that this year is really gonna spell disaster for them because they can't keep up with the success of the franchise. And of course, box office is brought into this and if you're just anybody who knows anything about box office you should come to the same conclusion last year they had a film that alone made 2.8 billion dollars they had captain marvel which again alone broke a billion spider-man again that's a billion dollar film they had multiple films that came out that were huge this year they have two unknown factors they have black widow which is a prequel which we know how her story ends so who knows how that's gonna do and we have the eternals which is a big question mark considering nobody knows anything about it and the general populace has no idea who the eternals are so yes box office is going to be significantly down but that doesn't mean spin the story that the studio is suddenly dying or they're gonna be over. You know as well as I do, by December 31st of this year, you're gonna see articles, Marvel Studios underperforms, Kevin Feige in trouble, Marvel Studios has worst year on recorded history records. Since the beginning of time, Marvel Studios is eternally doomed. You know, we, we gotta give it some sort of spin with the titles. Has the Black Widow stung the prey? D the Black Widow sting? I don't know my arachnids or whatever the hell. Anyways, you get what I'm saying, right? You can spin the story however you will. This year, yes, it will be a huge loss. Again, last year, Captain Marvel was perceived as a failure because they didn't get an extra $50 million from Netflix because it went straight to Disney+. Plus. But nobody's talking about how Disney Plus overperformed, but they're telling you that Captain Marvel lost money. Even though it didn't, they just didn't get the extra 50 million because of a licensing deal per year. Which would have ultimately, if they like rented it out for like four years, been like $200 million extra on Captain Marvel. But nobody wants to cover these numbers for you because you gotta spin the story a certain way. This year, I guarantee you, Marvel Studios is not making over $4 billion. That is never gonna happen. But they'll probably make 1.5 billion. Again, that's great. You're giving us two unknown factors and one that's literally so new that people don't even know about it. I mean, the comics can't even sell based on these characters. That's how little known they are. But let's get back to this five years from now when Eternals 2 is in development and it's aiming for 1.2 billion and Black Widow might even be a part of a trilogy. Again, if you're part of that notion that, oh yeah, Marvel Studios is on the way out because they're gonna make less, congrats, you're not even Nostradamus. You should just be able to literally be able to look at it and be like, there's no way anybody makes that much money ever again. It, it Systematically, it's like impossible to do that again. Avengers was this huge thing built over the course of 11 years. There's no way the Eternals and Black Widow can match that power. But nonetheless, let's wait till December 31st till we hear that Marvel Studios is over.